Because yo, that's crazy. When you're at that rock bottom, it's only up from there. True. Like I, I had noticed I am actually more excited for my failures than I am my wins. Mm. I don't really care about my wins anymore, bro. I, I was told I was fighting Floyd Mayweather. Very excited. Cool, right? But like after the moment, I go back to just doing whatever the fuck I'm doing. When you fuck up and fail on a level like that, mm -hmm. you have to reevaluate. And with that reevaluation comes positive change, comes uh, a new you, potentially a new identity, new goals, aspirations, yeah. and a way to get there. And that's fun. So what That's the you, exciting shit. What, what were some of like the growth and lessons you feel like you learned oh from God. that? So many, so many. Um, so the, the analogy I, I use is... Uh, some, somewhere in my life, I hit a fork in the road mm -hmm. and I, and I went down the wrong path. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know if it was like my intentions were wrong. I was letting the wrong, uh, motives fuel me, whatever it was. I, I, I just like, I don't know. I, I couldn't see what was happening. Yeah. And I, I just had to reverse my life. And I did so by trying everything, listening to people, talking to people around me, bringing him on board. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't have a mentor or a big brother. I was, I'm the big brother. Yeah. And so, uh, I, I I just uh, I just started listening to people around me mm -hmm. and to the world and uh, being being a real student of the environment and and it changed me in a way where I, you know I'm really happy with the person that I became and am becoming still to this day because you know it's it's all a work in progress 